Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to today's episode of Talking Point from NTV Europe. I'm your host, Syed Niaz Ahmed. In our studios today, we have a gentleman. He is a filmmaker of repute, a social worker with local government, and a writer, and someone who has put Bangladesh on the international stage of film festivals. None other than Makbul Chaudhry. Welcome to the show, Mr. Makbul Chaudhry. Thank you. Thank you. How are you today? I'm fine. I yeah. hope the journey from Birmingham was not that bad. Not that bad. Not that bad. It was. It took only three hours. It only took three, <laughs> three hours. hours yes. more. Normally, it takes three hours or more than no, that. A bit less. A Usually, bit less. from um, Ajwa Road to here is the is the. It's, it's, it's the well inside the city. You have to inside the city. You have to wait through the traffic. Absolutely. Uh, Hyde yes. Park and all that. Yeah. So and it is a Friday today. It is a Friday. Yes, yes, the beginning of the weekend. Yes. So. Right. Uh, you were born uh, in, in Bangladesh and uh, you went to school there, grew up in Silet. Yeah. And uh, because you were a good student, you were also won some scholarships at while being at school. In a school or at that age, you were also enrolled in cultural and literary activities. Absolutely. And at 16, perhaps, your story is published in local and national newspapers. Yes. Uh, we'll come to that. Yeah. What did you write about? <laughs> But in 1989, you were selected, and it was a government-sponsored, uh, probably you won a scholarship, government initiative, a script writing and direction course at National Institute of Mass Communications in Dhaka. And that was the year then when you moved to, to Dhaka, Dhaka from yes. Silet. Yes. Tell me something about, at age 16, what sort of stories did you write? Oh, um, at age 16, I, 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 I wrote the stories mainly around Mukti uh -huh, really, uh -huh. at that time, um, in terms of how, because when we were at 16, Mukti Juddha, at 9 Akushi February, Shatinoza right, Dibosh, right. uh, those days were very important for us. Right. And, and I don't know, I mean, I can still remember. So the, my first uh, story that was published in Daily Shongram, I think, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in a national news, newspaper. Yes, I, I didn't even know. One day I just opened it and I saw my mm -hmm, story with yeah. some illustration as well. Right. Uh, that but was who there. sent it to Shongram? I, I, I sent it, but mm -hmm. I, di I, didn't, I didn't know that you it was going that to be You didn't know that it would be published yeah. at all. See. But before that, in local newspapers, like Jugoberi at that mm -hmm, time, mm -hmm, Silet, mm -hmm. it was a famous one. Right. I can remember I used to go there uh, with my bike mm -hmm. um, and then just um, put the and build up to the editor and then with the hope. I mean, at that time, I mean, print your, your writing coming into Jugoberi newspaper was quite a big thing right. for a new writer. Um, so That encouraged you to write more. Yes, 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 of course. I mean, and then I got involved with the literary uh, Kobi Belal Muhammad. You know, yeah, he was yeah, the... Yeah. Um, he was the director of Bangladesh Better. Mm -hmm. And one day, I can remember at that time, it was Falkland, Falkland War. Yes. And uh, there was a literary discussion. And like lots of people were reading their poem. And Belal Muhammad was sitting in a right. house, a lot of people. And he was commenting on the quality of writing. So when right. it's my turn, and I read a small story about a boy in the Falkland. I have never been to Falkland, <laughs> but because I was <laughs> gathering all the information. And he was just doing this. He would just woke up. I said, what's your name? <laughs> and he said, uh, my name is... Uh, and he said, you must all respect him because he is the one who has touched on the most current affairs. And you should do that. And then next day, he asked his producer, radio producer, yeah. that I want to see him on the radio. So I started to do radio program. Mm -hmm. And for each program, I can remember, I used to get 125 taka. That was a good sum of money those Absolutely. days. Absolutely. I mean, it was something. <laughs> but I have to open a bank account in order to... Yeah, they gave you they they give they they give check. check. Yeah. <laughs> so actually, that time, it was really, I was, uh, I can remember, I mean, with my bike, bike and, you know, getting all these opportunities and these uh, lots of friends and the people are encouraging mm -hmm, you, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. read this, read that. I can remember in Silet, uh, Muslim Shahitu Shangshut. And I have actually written about that at a later age. Right. And there was an old person, he has died, Nurul Hawk, and he used to tell me, he used to see me every day going to the library, getting books. And mm -hmm. he said, um, that uh, he said, Baba means, you know, son, yeah, yeah. come here. And he then showed me <coughs> the section of Tolstoy, uh, 
Dostoevsky, and he said, you must read this. So he just opened the door for me to right. a different world. And I yeah. actually wrote about him, that how he has introduced me to this big nation, you know, big, big giant of literature. So uh, that was an amazing time. That yes. was a preparation time, really. And those were the probably the formative years for Absolutely. your writing. Absolutely, formative so. years of writing and imagination, and also being dedicated to the art. I think that that is quite an important element right. in my personal life, to become dedicated to the art form. Yeah. yeah. Uh, tell us something about your, how you were, or how you got into this selection of uh, this government initiative uh, course that was a script okay. writing and direction. And uh, did you have a any previous experience in, in a script uh, writing? <laughs> I didn't, I didn't. But I always wanted to be, I wanted to be actually um, a journalist with a, with a filming, I mean, video journalist. Right. That was my idea. And the BBC was a big thing for me. But before 1989, I collected some of the like books by Shatujit Rai right. and, and, and started to read about Montaz and the Sergei Eisenstein. Those were quite an abstract thing for me. The interesting thing is that when I saw this advertisement on the newspaper, that it is a quite a big, I can remember, the quarter size, yeah. you know, that the, from the whole country only 12 people will be selected. And those people who are interested in film and they have got an interest. So I thought I, I perfectly fit the criteria. So I put that application in. Yeah. And then I got an invite for an interview. So this is the first time I went to Dhaka. So when you applied, you were in Silet? I was in Silet, yeah. So I went to Dhaka. I was so, for some reason, I felt that I'm going to get it because of my passion and the, all the readings that I have done. I felt that probably I am the unique one. Anyway, when <laughs> I reached at, at Shat Masjid Road, you know, in the yep. corner, the big building, I saw with hundreds and hundreds of people there. And some people has bought their books. They are like a writer. They've got yeah. bag full of Portfolio. books. They have written, you know, journalists from uh, Doinik Bangla, Ittefak, and this. And, and inside the committee, it was uh, um, Abdullah Mamun, uh, Tanbir Mukammel. He's, of course, a very close friend of mine now. Tanbir Mukammel and um, Shreyad Samsul Haq. Poet Shamsulog was there as well. And a few other people I can't remember. And they asked me, I know that this obvious question, asked me about Montas theory. Right. So I, I knew about Montas. I gave all the examples of Montas, Sergei. And they were a bit shocked. And they said, have you ever seen any art? In like a piece of yeah. art? And I said, yes, I have. Because in Bang in Dhaka, at that time, I can't remember the artist's name, but uh, not Joinul Abidin. Later on, uh, that, mm -hmm. that artist who has got a very distinctive Kam feature of... Kamrul Hassan. Yes, Kamrul Hassan. Yeah, his, his woman figure in it. And they said, where did you see these arts? I said, okay, in Silet, there was a art, um, a one-week art show of Kamrul Hassan. I have been there, and I can, I can remember the names of them. And they were really shocked to see the somebody in Silet so anyway, after about uh, three or four days later on, I went to see the, my, the result, 12 people. My name was on the number six. MashaAllah. So, so <laughs> that number six. Fortune smile on you. Yes. Uh, this was a one-year course, isn't it? No, that was a six-month course. Then it turned into a one-year course. Mm -hmm. And we made a film called uh, Sriti Akattur, mm -hmm. uh, which was about the people, uh, you know, like Buddhijibi. So it would be the when family. you say we, it was all the participants. Yeah, all the participants. Yeah, all. The, so we were asked that we want to extend it, uh -huh. but we have got some funding. We can make a film that would be the. So would you want to continue? So we will continue. Right. So I went to, uh, you know, Chittagong. Uh, we <coughs> interviewed a lot of Muktijudha, uh, Muktijudha uh, at the time when they died. Uh, I can't remember all the names mm -hmm. in Dhaka University and other places. I right. worked throughout the whole film. And my name is ah, also on the right. film title right. as well. It was directed by Tanbir Mukammel at that time. And, and that is when you decided that uh, you need a bigger canvas, so you moved from Silet to Dhaka. As in 1989, around that time, yes, I felt at one point. Actually, my brother, I mean, he's an older brother, Mojim Hushan Choudhury, he's an advocate. He used to be a cadet as well. One day, uh, I was. I used to do drama, and after the drama rehearsal, we used to have stop 
yeah. then have a cup of tea at the Bandar Bazar corner, you know, you know, in the, in the main city center. He probably saw me. So I came home and I saw him, he's sitting in the waiting, in the dining, in the living room. Right. And I, as I am trying to pass him, he said, sit down there. And I thought I have done something wrong. <laughs> I said, no, 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 you've not done anything wrong. I just want to say something. This Bandar Bazar city center point, yeah. if you think that is the world, then you will stay here. But there is a Piccadilly Circus. There is a Broadway in the world. So think beyond Silet from now on. Otherwise, I saw you. You are so engrossed in this city. Yeah. But there are life outside there. You must, your, your horizon is bigger. Think of the bigger. Yeah. And I, had, I still remember that. Mm -hmm. uh, and actually, when I came to England, I went to Piccadilly Circus and stopped there and remembered that mm -hmm. moment that my brother said, you must go to Piccadilly Circus. And I have been to Broadway as well. Right. And even I stayed in the, uh, um, this marquee hotel, which is in the Times what? Square. Waldorf, uh, uh, yes. Waldorf Astoria. Sorry? That famous Waldorf Astoria. Yeah, mm. yes, yes, yes. yes. No, I mean I, I mean, I have spent a lot of time right. in that, that area, in Times Square. And again, I remember that word, that there is a Broadway, there is a Piccadilly Circus. Uh, actually, it is important, although I love my city, but when I came to Dhaka, I found that it is so, such a big contrast in terms of the intellectual discussion. I mean, the young people like my age in Dhaka, they were far more advanced in terms of their philosophical intellectual knowledge they, for example, Sartre, they're talking about Chekhov, they're talking yeah. about Heidegger, yeah. and whereas in Silet we were talking about much more. I'm not undermining this. This is because of the, the, the teachers they have. Absolutely, it? and everything is going around. <coughs> Dhaka is, uh, Bangladesh is more de decent, centralized, right. isn't it, right. rather than right. here, you know, Birmingham and... Uh, uh, in 1990, uh, during the mass uh, unrest against uh, uh, General Ishad, you took some pictures and also interviewed uh, affected families who had lost their mm, near and dear ones in the army crackdown. And uh, your pictures or your Photog were used, videos, yes, video, videos video footage, yeah. were used by Bangladesh TV television, yes. And it was uh, made into a documentary, documentary and produced by Professor Mamtaz yes. and uh, our one and only Anis Ulhaq. Yes. He presented it on the television. Yes, yes. Do you want to tell me, tell you about that? Yeah. Yep. I I, I, when I was doing the course in the mass communication, and as you just said that the course expanded one year, I had to find a job. So I found a job in a wedding, video wedding company right. in that Elephant Road, right. the heart of Elephant Road. Yeah. And that company, I mean, fortunately, I went there and I started and then within like one month, this guy said, Mr. Magpul, you take the whole responsibility. <laughs> I don't need to be there. You are absolutely fine in terms of dealing with customers and cameras. So I was kind of a manager there. Uh, uh, Mr. Magpul, it's time to take a break. And then when we come back, we'll go back to, to the Dhaka. To Dhaka and uh, talk about this uh, very interesting film uh, that you made. Uh, thank you for being with us. And don't go away. We'll come back after this short break. Thank you.